OK, let's get over to a man who does not need much hairspray. In the Beko kitchen, Mark, you're making a Chinese classic. What are we doing today? That's right. Classic Chinese uh, dish on every takeaway menu, chicken chow mein. So Fantastic. Really easy. I'm going to show. I'm going to walk through later how to do it. But basically, we've got a sauce which thickens, goes around the noodles. We're going to cook some noodles off, so we're all ready to go. And then chicken. But you can replace it with anything you want. And we've got a bit of vegetable in there. We've got texture. We've got flavour. We've got speed. We've got a yummy dinner. I didn't even realise that cabbage was in chow mein. Well, no, you can put a little bit in there. So it's got its place. It's got a nice little bit of a crunch. Don't overcook it though. Fantastic. We're going to be back in the Beko kitchen to make this chow mein very soon. Now, we're doing our favourite Chinese takeaway. I love a bit of chicken chow mein, but there's something really interesting you've got to do with the chicken. Yeah, exactly. So so I didn't know this as well, so I've learnt this as well. But you know how you get you go to the takeaways and you get the chicken and it's really, really tender, you know, and they use the you use the breast and yeah. it's like, how did they get it so tender? Because you try to do it at home and it's, and it, you know, work. it's a protein, so it is a bit firmer, you know, when it's cooked. This is how you do it. Right, so we've got our chicken. Uh, Nicely thinly sliced. Just pop it into a bowl and some baking soda, and that just goes on top. That is, cr I never would have thought of doing that. No, no, it's all these like little tips and tricks, and that's just going to break down the uh, meat a little bit. And you want to leave that for about ten minutes, but then the important thing here is you want to wash that off. So after about 10 minutes, just rinse it under some cold water, <laughs> drain it, and dry it, and then you can start. I can imagine <laughs> yeah. a sizzling tongue. And yeah, you'd going, be like, ooh, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> right, so that's the doing its thing in its yep. own little jacuzzi. What have we got going on over Right, so, so it's all about mise en place now, so it's a really fast, a fast dish to do. But I'm going to stop you there, because oh. that is a fancy word for what? <laughs> preparation. Thank you. Right, so it's all about the preparation. So we've got the chicken marinade in. What I'm going to do next is um, do a little quick sauce, all right? So I've got some right. soy sauce. Mm. That goes in there. A little bit of sugar. And um, some oyster sauce goes in there. You know, and the beauty with sort of, you know, these quick, um, you know, especially Asian recipes is, you know, you've got a recipe there so you can follow it all out and, and do the sauce and use that as a guideline. But then if you want more oyster sauce or less soy or you want to add some different things or the black vinegar in there, you know, it's all up to you. You do that. Well, that's know? the thing. We're talking about chilli oil and I just adore it. I mean, I could drink it. I love it that much. Exactly. So, I, so you could put it in. Yeah. A wee bit heavy handed on the old, um, <laughs> on that from time to time. So that was a little bit of uh, sesame oil in, a little bit of white pepper goes in there and some corn flour. So we're going to pop the corn flour uh -huh. straight in here, mix that all up, and then what that's going to do is that's going to thicken the sauce and cook out and uh, coat the noodles after. So you could do this with just some corn flour and water and then thicken the sauce. Well, I was going to say that because there's nothing worse than a lump in a sauce. And here's me, I can actually see a lump in your <laughs> sauce, to be fair. How you right, you keep stirring that, that yeah. and then <laughs> take the lumps out and I'm going to chop some vegetables. <laughs> right. So what veggies have we got? <laughs> right, so, and, and, and again, you know, you can use whatever you want, but classic ones, um, you know, we've got a little bit of carrot for some colour. Um, so we're just going to do some nice slices and then cut across into matchsticks. So that's the, called a julienne. Julienne. I love that, another French word. You know that um, mise en place has just been added to the Merriam-Webster dictionary. Really? Yeah, really? so obviously it's a French word, but it's used so much now it's just, in yeah. English. And even in, you know, it's Lynn from added. Hunterville's kitchen, she's saying it as well these days, apparently. Oh, it's, so, it's um, I've been, uh, yeah, we because we write a list in the restaurant every day, and I write uh, MEP on the top, and then all Mep. the new chefs come in, and they're like, what's this? Mise en place. Excellent. Okay, we've got the carrots there. So carrots in there. I've got some spring onions, so I'm just going to cut them into nice, um, sort of, you know, nice big chunks. That's going to go in there. And some cabbage as well. We're just going to just uh, roughly shred, and then we are all ready to go. Wok's warming up. The chicken, we're going to rinse that off, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to make this char main. Excellent. And by then, I may have managed to get the lumps out of Mark's sauce. Uh, just a reminder, Mark, what have we done with that chicken? Right, so we soaked that for about 10 minutes in some uh, baking soda. And then we've uh, washed it off, rinsed it, and then dried it. And that makes it tender, or more yes. tender in theory. It even looks tenderer. It does, actually. See, normally to tenderise, I'd just sort of bash it until it had no life left in it. But the baking <laughs> soda seems like much more of a pleasant way to do things. OK, so what are we going to do? Right, what we need to do now is uh, we've got all our uh, preparation ready. So there's a bit of garlic there which we've chopped. A little bit of peanut oil. We yep. can pop in the wok, so get that nice and hot. So you can see noodles it's already, are just uh, doing their thing yeah, over there. Noodles are in. What we're going to do is start stir-frying in the garlic first. So I'm going to give you a spoon. 
and then you just sort of start stir frying that a little bit. Ooh, that so it's, is... re it's really hot, so you want to be working fast before the garlic burns, but you start, yep. we're getting a little bit of colour on the garlic. Then get your chicken in and just sort of stir fry that together. You know, you, you can smell that garlic now, you know, you've got a little bit of caramelisation on there. And I know there's people all up and down the country screaming at me now for taking the Teflon off this pan <laughs> with a metal spoon. <laughs> yeah. I think someone's actually gone to get a wooden spoon. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> we've got the chicken. Oh, see, that is looking tender. So you can see how tender it is, and you can see how fast that chicken's cooking. It's nice and thin. It's not going to take long. Literally about 45 seconds a minute. Yep. Then we're going to start adding the uh, next uh, ingredients in there. Thank you. It's magically a wooden spoon has appeared. Brilliant. That's better. See, it's all in the preparation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, carrots have gone in. So carrots have gone in. And, you know, it's a stir fry. It's really fast. We don't want to overcook those vegetables either, okay? Cabbage is going to go in now. We talked yeah. about the cabbage a little bit before. Yeah. You know, people sort of tend to steer away from cabbage because it's a little bit, um, you know, overcooked, tastes like cardboard you know, and just yucky really. But this is going to be the complete opposite, you know, we're stir frying it, it's still going to be nice and green and mm. crunchy, and that's what we want. I love that. Okay. Spring onions go in now, so they're nice and big, that's going to give you, you know, a nice crunch as well, nice bit of colour. And you've used a lot of the, like, the top bit, well, yeah, what yeah. I call the top bit, I'm sure it's got a proper name. The green bit. The green bit. <laughs> um, is that okay? Because I just thought they were sort of like, yeah and you don't no, touch no, them. No, they're, they're really good actually. You know, if okay. you finely chop them, you can almost substitute it um, like for a chive. Right. You know, and put it in right at the end. Or if you stir fry them and you get a bit of colour on there, it just really brings out the right. flavour and it's right. really good. Okay. Right, what we're going to do now, we can pop some bean sprouts in there as well, or mung beans. M oh, is that a mung bean? A mung bean, yeah. Ah. Who knew it? Well, you obviously did, but I didn't. <laughs> oh, see that? Now it's actually starting to look like a real one. And then you got, and then you got your noodles. So these yep. are just like uh, you know dried egg noodles. What you can get. So pop them in. Cook these as you're getting everything ready. Great. And then they can go straight in here. Drain them off. Straight in the pan. And awesome. then we've got our sauce. Now, I've been looking over at that, going, "You are where the magic happens because it's going to look really good once that goes in." It is. So this is very very last minute. So you know, give your noodles like a minute or so, just frying. See, how do you end up not getting a big ball of noodle in the middle? Because that always happens to me. Is it just... It's just one of those things. <laughs> <laughs> just, you're, you're not going to answer that question. You're just going to leave me there with my big ball of yeah, noodle. I'm enjoying it. pop that in. Yeah, we're going to pop, we're gonna pop that in there. So you can see mm, instant yeah. flavour, instant colour. The heat's going to thicken it. Always a good tip as well, because you're working with a, a really um, hot pan as well. It's going to reduce down. A little splash of water in here, get the rest of the sauce out. That goes in there. Just wait until the uh, sauce is just thickened slightly and look at that, nice and glazed and that is ready to go. Pop some coriander in there if you want. Jess is not here so we can if you want. Absolutely, love yeah. it. It's going to be so delicious you can now, of course find the recipe on our website thecafe.co.nz. Right, the chow mein is here Mark, looking and smelling really good. What's on the menu tomorrow? Right, tomorrow I've got a real treat, braised beef cheeks. Oh, that sounds interesting.